Today's adventure is a final return to what seems like one of the most active forests we've ever been to. But like what I'm getting is like this entity or this energy, whatever this is, it jumps from tree to tree and it will hide and get closer and closer. Right there! Right there! Clapping! Oh my god, my head is shivering right now. Get out of our tent. That is our safe zone. It's protected by a white light. No way! No way! It's right ironic. Now. What the f? That was a f giggle! Catherine, are you here with us? What the f was that? What did you just see, babe? Shine your light, please. The darkness just formed a figure. Proximity and movement. What the f is in our tent right now? What I don't know, but I just had the feeling that it was no longer her. Oh, what the f was that? What the f was that? What the I don't like this at all. guys so here we are we just made it to the Macintosh forest aka Catherine's grave today's adventure is a final return probably to what seems like one of the most active forests we've ever been to and this spot I gotta tell you so we're actually investigating a grave where a little girl was exhumed from her family cemetery in the Macintosh forest and which you actually can't get to now. So there is a grave that's on the side of the road where she lays. And supposedly to the locals, if you don't bring her a toy, she will physically harm you. Yeah, she gets mad. She gets really mad. She gets um, physical even. And tonight we are returning back. Some of you OGs might actually remember that, but yeah, she will physically harm you if you do not bring her a toy. So did you bring her a toy? I did bring her a toy. I went to my hairdresser today who lives in this area and she was asking like, what we're doing tonight. So I told her that we're going to Catherine's grave to camp out. And she was like, oh my gosh, the last time I went there, my car wouldn't start. And she had so many car issues and she was stuck here for like five hours waiting really? for a tow truck. And she's like, there, like there's nothing wrong with my car. It just, it, it would not start and she got stuck here. Holy smokes. Yeah. So you brought her something, right? I did, I did. Oh man. Holy smokes, eh? I hate driving in this stuff. <laughs> this is nuts. And there's houses up here, like. Come on. Baxter, you got this. I should honestly put it in 4x4, four four, but... So here it is now. Look at that. There's toys. All up in there. I'm sure our toys are still there. Yeah, how do you feel returning back? I'm excited. I know she's lonely, so... Yeah. It'd be nice to kind of see her again. I'm excited. We The last time we were here was a year ago. That's crazy. I know. It honestly Holy. doesn't feel like that long. No, you know? not at all. There she is. But this is one of the most known haunted spots in all of Pictou County, so. And even the locals say that a lot of up shit happens. Yeah, yeah, it's very so active. We really gotta be careful, because even last time, remember I got someone tugging on my back, pulled me right that's down the right. hill there. Yeah, that's right. And tonight we're gonna be going more deep into the forest and setting up camp there, so. Hi, Catherine. We're back. My name is Chelsea, if you remember me. And this is my partner, Lamar. We've been here a bunch of times to actually see you and hang out with you. But I think tonight we're actually gonna spend more time with you and try to spend the night, if you're okay with that. Brought you a little toy. I don't know what it is, but I thought it was pretty. She has so many toys here. Oh, she's Wow. Do you feel that right now though? Yeah, like her presence. Someone's presence. 
But it's light, you know? Yeah. Do you have um the the brush for the car? I'm gonna try to like clear off her spot for her. Okay, Catherine, I'm not taking any of your toys. I'm putting everything back. I'm just gonna kind of clear it out for you so you can see what people have been bringing you. Looks like people have been bringing a lot for her, which is really nice. These ones are new. Yeah, and those are like some pretty fancy toys. Wow, Catherine, that looks so nice. So again, Catherine, I'm not taking them. Just trying to show you what you have here. Yeah, these are all new toys. So recently people have been here. Yeah, I know this one is pretty old. It was here last time, I think. That's the one we just brought. Some rocks. We've got more down here too. Oh, someone left a mask. I don't think she'll need that <laughs> on the other side. A hairbrush, that's always good. Okay, those are pretty frozen, but at least you can kind of see them. It looks like someone brought her a dress. Yeah. I think so, yeah. It's just frozen or else I would put it out nicer for her. There you go, Catherine. Hope that's a little bit better. I don't know, I feel like every single time we come here, there's some sort of, not entity, but presence already here when you're driving by this grave you already feel like people mm -hmm. are standing here somehow right but it also feels so different during the day than at night i know for those of you guys who don't know her family cemetery is deeper in the forest somewhere i don't think we'll find it tonight but we're gonna try and go deeper into the forest and set up camp like Chelsea said i find it very not overwhelming but very strong you know like mm -hmm. like i mentioned before this might be our final time coming here, at least in the next year or two. Um, but the last time, or one of the times we came here, some entity was here. Like I saw it with my own eyes, it was a gray being, and I believe that was the thing that pushed me down this hill. Mm -hmm. And we also had a couple knocks on our car too, remember? Knocks on our car, um, yeah. <laughs> Which is like a known thing to happen here. You know, like a lot of people have had little handprints on their car, noises from their car, issues with their car. So it's a known occurrence here. Even if you, like even the last time we came, we, we've always brought her a toy. Yeah, you know? so I'm pretty sure those are the people that don't bring her something. Or if she just doesn't like the toy we brought her. Yeah. Anyways, I kind of thought we would just stop by and just, you know, see her before we get this investigation going and get the night going. Um, so Catherine, thank you for um, hearing us. My name is Lamar. I'm Chels. And tonight we're going to be spending some time. We're going to come back and visit you once it gets dark. And we're going to be going into the forest. So feel free to join us and send us any sort of message you can. Yeah, this was crazy because she was exhumed from her family cemetery. Yeah. Because of some sort of family dispute. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what she did or why they singled her It might not her even out. been her. It could have been her parents, yeah. a family member, right? What? She was only eight years old, almost nine years old. What could a nine-year-old do I know, that's that nothing. bad? I mean, it says right here, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. I have no idea what that means, but... Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I have no idea what she did or why they singled her out, but for some reason, she's the only member of the family on the side of the road. And not a lot of people, I don't know if anyone really does know what she did. No. You know, like we tried researching it, but there was no more information than what we could find on it. So. Yeah. I just don't want to get attacked or, you know, I yeah. have a theory though. I have a really weird theory that the thing that I saw, I'm not even joking, is the thing that people are talking about that's tempering with them mm -hmm. that's hurting people touching people messing with the cars exactly yeah i don't think it's the little girl yeah it's hard to tell right yeah i guess we'll take it from here and just return back at night so hope you're ready for this yeah let's go get some dinner get some uh, caffeine in us and come back with the tent absolutely all right thanks Catherine. we'll see you later okay see you soon sweetie it's game time. All right, let's do this. All right, 
right guys, so we pulled up right now. Turn around, look at that. That is all snow. When we pulled up here earlier in the daytime, we could not turn around. We had to reverse all the way down that road. It was really sketchy. It was so bad that we put our cameras away and we were like literally, I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. We were like taking it so slow, just reversing out of there. Like it was bullshit. Yeah, cause it's literally like, it's a drop down in there into a creek and a ravine, so. Yeah, so we, we're not gonna take any chances today. Um, since it's dark and snowing slash raining, we're not gonna be um, taking any risks to be stuck in the ditches. So we gotta walk probably about 10 minutes up there, but we're camping. So we got everything, sleeping bags, tarp, you got the tent. Like when I got here, my eyes just started getting red as soon as we got here. When we first really pulled up, bad. I did hear like a woman whispering. You heard a woman whispering? Yeah, in the forest to the left. I heard like a, it sounded like a woman was in there. I couldn't make out what she was saying, but it, it like I, I definitely heard it. Holy crap. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but like as soon as I got here, my eyes just feel really heavy all of a sudden. Hmm. So, all right, well, <laughs> you ready to start the journey? Oh my God, here we are. Total different energy and vibe at night. I know, and that's why we keep coming back. Look at this. Under the moth? Did you see that moth? It, I think it's just attracted to our lights. I know, but that's just weird. You know what those symbolize, right? I know. Something's around. Yeah. Okay. Um. First off, why don't we name- What if toys is going off? What? No way. You're kidding me. Hi, Catherine. Did someone come and rearrange this? Did you put that helicopter on there? No, I didn't. But that's going off, look. Yeah, that's really I guess, weird. I guess someone literally just came after us. Yeah. Did you hear, or was that just, like I just heard like, like almost like a gasp. Somebody down there? That was weird. Might have just been my ears. All right. Well. <laughs> That's so odd. Look, it's still following you. I know. This moth. You want to name this moth before we get this investigation going? Jupiter. Jupiter? Yeah. Is that what you? Okay. It's the first name that came to my mind. He's on your bag right now. Jupiter. What's up, Jupiter? Get off my bag. He's like, yo, let me come with you. I'll protect you. I'll go in your boots. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh. That's crazy though how like one of her toys is already going off. Yeah, what's crazy is that someone was here already before us. I know. Hey look. It's on you now? Jupiter's on me. What's up, man? You gonna protect us? You see that? Yeah, hi Jupiter. Weird. Yeah. Where are your buddies? Alright Catherine, we're back. And we came to communicate with you and possibly see if we can crack down on who is standing with you. Now, I want you to do your best to follow us. We're going to be going deeper into the forest. Um, but we just want to get down to the reasoning that you're still here. And not really tormenting, but, you know, getting people's attention that come and visit you. We've heard so many stories saying that you, you know, mess with people's cars, you touch people. Um, we want to know why, so... We've also had a lot of experiences here with you too, Catherine. Like a lot of experiences, so... Come back out tonight and come play with us. You know what though? Keep us company overnight. I wonder if this moth is like reincarnating as something. It's like, what if this is Catherine? Literally like just... Yo, it's kind of cute. Look how fuzzy it is. Yeah, Jupiter's just chilling. Interesting. He's probably eating your clothes right now. Eating my clothes, bro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to go fly! It's not flying. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Aw, there he goes. He's okay. good. Um, since we did come back, I did bring Catherine another toy. Just okay. because I wasn't sure, like, if every time we come we should bring a toy, so I brought another one just in case. So, Catherine, here we have Josie. Josie? Yeah, this is Josie. Here. 
Another friend for your collection. You just stepped on Jupiter. Did I? Oh my god, baby. I didn't mean to. He was crawling to you and you stepped on him. Oh, I feel really bad. I honestly really didn't mean to. But I wish I could reverse that. Alright, well let's just lay the... Sorry. Oh, I feel really bad now. Sorry, baby. Oh, I feel bad. Sorry, right. he wasn't like flying or anything. Okay. All, All right. right, shall we go? We shall go. Oh, this is deep. Oh, wow, yeah, that's Look. really deep. You good? Yeah, Ninja Turtle over here is good. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, this is um not welcoming. No. What no? What in the actual? I don't know. Do you think like a wood chipper could do that? No, that was like someone clapping. That was farther down, but look. There's no footprints. That makes no sense at all. Like actually. All right, let's keep moving. We've already been hearing things and I have I know. It's a whistle. Yeah. That was a whistle. I don't know where that came from though, but that was a whistle. What's that? Is that just me? I don't know. Trees down, like push down throughout this path. We're gonna have to find a good spot. We're hearing stuff. I know. All right. Well, how do we get across this? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. We'll uh. Go around this way, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? Ah. Get steep. Careful, okay? Careful, I'm like halfway down through this right now. Ah! Oh, Are you okay? Are you all right? <laughs> oh my God. The tent broke my fall. You okay? Yeah, okay. Careful. Let's keep moving. What? Apparently, like, the house farm is back here? Um, the graves are back here somewhere. The graves, okay. The graves are blocked off by some family that's still alive now. Okay. I don't know if they're actually hidden in this forest, but I do know they're back here somewhere. Okay, so Whether if they're blocked off, we won't access them to I respect the family? I highly doubt it. I think uh, they have it blocked off. Um, but I, I do know that they're in a field back here somewhere. Yeah, what is, what is that? Oh, that's a tree stump. That kind of looks like a tent. Yeah, it does. All right. <sighs> what? Are you hearing that? 
What? Like children? I heard like talking, I kind heard, of. Like, it sounded like children, like talking. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, like two kids. I don't know if that's me just like trying to keep in or. This is where we'll set up camp. Look. Snowed over footprints. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a good spot to set up camp. All right, guys. So here's the issue. We can't do any rent pod work because it's snowing and kind of spitting. So it's actually triggering the rent pod to go off. Unless, do you think we can maybe do it in the tent later? We could do it in the tent. Okay. But as for right now, we'll stick with Spirit Talker and see if we can communicate. Before we actually get this investigation going, guys, I know someone's with us because I can feel you. So I'm Chelsea. My name is Lamar. And today, we decided to pay you a visit. For an overnight visit. I swear her branch is breaking. Like someone walking behind you type yeah, like deal? behind you. Behind me? Yeah. I didn't understand that. Hmm? I didn't understand that? I didn't understand that. What didn't you understand? We're paying you a visit because what we do is we come and we try to talk to people who have passed on, who have a story, who kind of have been, I don't want to say forgotten about, but kind of forgotten about. We want to make sure that your story is known in the world. So we've come here to reach out to you, to talk to you, and that's it really. Just hang out. Are you able to come out and talk to us? Soldier. Are you a soldier? So I want to know who the f was clapping. Excuse I know. my language, but like that was weird. It's odd, yeah. There's no footprints coming down here. The only footprints we saw were kind of like where we are now, but it was snowed over for a while. I know. If that was you clapping, can you do it again to let us know where you want us to go? I'm hearing voices. Yeah, right I am now. too. Straight yeah. up voices. Catherine, are you here with us? How close are we to the water? Oh, the water's like right yeah, there. Yeah, the water is straight up right there. <laughs> okay, so just be careful where you're walking. Yeah. Something feels weird about where we are right now. Kind of like we're in the middle and we have like people surrounding us, just watching us. Is that what you're kind of vibing with? No. What are you getting? Yes and no. I'm feeling more of like someone standing by a tree like lurking? Just one. I don't know why. I pick I, up on a couple. Really? Mm-hmm. I could be completely wrong because like, I'm new to kind of picking up spirits like that. For some reason, I've been getting more and more messages about like who is here with us on investigations. But I don't know. I still need to do a lot more practicing. But where did you go? Oh man, the snow is so deep. One good thing though about the snow is like it's kind of like having an air mattress when we sleep tonight. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> it's wet everywhere. Yeah, it's a little bit of a wet cushion. Was this part of your land? I'm hearing a goddamn voice right now. 
Ear ringing like crazy. You want to hold this? Yeah. Nothing else in the Spear Talker app. That's odd. Okay. So we have an, a device here, and you have to use your energy to be able to communicate through this device. Your energy will be able to allow words to come through here so we can hear you. If you understand, why don't you try to do it and send us a message on here? We'll give you about 15 seconds. I have a feeling tonight it's going to be a lot like harder to use devices. I feel like that we're going to get a lot more EVPs in this place yeah, because we've like been it. hearing it with like our bare ears already. Yeah, we haven't even stepped foot in the path or we heard something. I know. I think well, we're was in... definitely clapping though. It was. It was. I definitely think we're in for a treat tonight. Yeah. Can you give us a message, please? Yeah. Should we go back that way then? I don't know. It's too noisy down there. I just want to kind of see if maybe that clapping was like a tree or something. It sounded too like legit. Yeah. How would it... Did you just hear that? No. There's like a mix of energies right now. It's like a mix of dark and light. And it like kind of feels like the light is younger and the dark is like manipulative and older. Yeah. I don't know what that feels like. Where are you? Catherine, are you here with us? Are you able to manifest for us? Or have we been experiencing your father? Or that entity that I saw, the gray being? That's true. Who the hell is that? Are you the gray being that I saw a while back? That would make sense with like the dark manipulative energy. Yeah. If you're the gray being, give us a sign. Is that my echo or is that no, just No, no, I don't think that was your echo. Do it again. Can you give us a sign? No, that wasn't an echo. echo. No. I don't know. <gasps> right there. Right there. Clapping. Okay, go that way. Clapping right there. Who's over here? Oh my god. Just be careful. What is this mess? What the f That was a f giggle. That was a fing giggle. That was a fing giggle. What the f Seriously, what the f Catherine, is that you? Did we just catch that? Yeah, I'm hoping that the cameras pick that up. Looking back at the footage, we realize that we may have caught Catherine McIntosh's voice. Listen carefully as the sounds of our footsteps almost drain out the sound. What the f That was a f giggle! Just be careful. What is this mess? What the f That was a f giggle! What is this mess? What the f That was a f 
giggle. Now, could this be the voice of Catherine McIntosh, or perhaps a demon trying to lure us deeper into the forest? Whatever this truly was, left us scarred and set the mood for the entire night. Catherine, if that's you, can you do it again? Oh my god. My heart is literally like outside of my chest right now. Does that mean she's like happy? She's playing? Like. I don't know. I... The only thing that's kind of sketchy about this right now, Bob, is that you literally asked that dark shadow thing to give you a sign and then this happened. Go back. Go back right now. Go back right now. Go back. Jesus. Right when you mentioned that, I just got pure shivers up my body. Something is here and it is dark. But why? Like what is it what is it wanting from us? Honey, this is fed up. It's almost like instantly when we pulled up, something lured us down here. Yeah. Well that's exactly like the clapping I feel like is leading us where they want it to go. You getting nothing off the spear box? Literally nothing. Nothing? Nothing. It's been going for a while now and nothing. That's so odd. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually freaking out right now. I don't know, just try to try your best to stay calm so that it doesn't like feed off of your energy. I'm actually freaking out right now. This is weird. Okay. What do you want to do? What should we do right now? I don't know, but that was plain out open in like the air. That was right in the air. Yeah, like I got really hope. Ears. I hope I swear to god the camera probably picked that up. It had to. We have our big mic on tonight. So we literally have Look, shuffling. I think it could be like a, a deer or like bears out this way. I don't know about bears, but. Deers, possibly. But a deer wouldn't really shuffle, would they? No, you'd hear them run. Straight path. Whoa. What? The camera just got super, super blurry, and I swear, like, when I did a quick turn back, like, I thought I saw, like, a little bit of, like, a, a shadow. I don't think it was, it was good again. Honestly, guys, it is such a sh show right now. Um, we got a camera rolling outside. Let's just kind of listen. How are you feeling? Good. I'm actually quite comfortable in here. You're comfy? Yeah. Emerge. Emerge. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty freaked out to go to bed tonight because we're deep in a forest. We have never camped here. We just discovered this 10 months ago and now we're pitching a tent here. I don't know. Where are you going to emerge from? Water. Are you serious? That's just what came to hit my head, like a message, I guess. I don't really know. Did you just hear someone? Or like a dog? I just heard someone just go like, Hur! or it like, sound like a dog. We're literally like no one's near us, like no, no. one's house. Yeah. 
the only place that is kind of near us is like a cottage, but it's closed. No, but that's like way down the road. Yeah. Is there anyone here with us tonight? Do you wish to communicate? Or come inside the tent and lie with us? Don't know if you know this, but we're Don't trust the bad ones. What? Don't trust the, the f clapping and the giggling. I swear that's yeah. related to it. I'm taking my time. Thank you so much. Is this Catherine? That's that's what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. The noises that we're hearing, the giggling, the clapping. I swear that's a lure effect. What happens if we trust the bad ones? At least we're getting some messages from Spirit Talker now, though. Yeah. You good? No, I wish I had something to like lean up against. I know. I love camping, right? Yep. So. The man scares me. Okay. okay. You have to be kidding me. Okay. Why does he scare you, Catherine? Remember I, earlier I did say that there's like a darker energy here. There is. This is literally like confirming it. Impressive. <laughs> you Thanks, got Catherine. that. Why does he scare you? What does he do to scare you? She has low energy. Now that you're picking up, now that you say that you fell too, I'm picking up a weird like lingering spirit. Mm -hmm. Like something that's quiet, but just walks. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm picking that up right now. Kind of like, like you said, remember how you said earlier, like he lurks behind trees? I feel like he just goes tree to tree to are tree. Are you picking that up though? Am I like accurate on that or am no, I just like off? What I like exactly kind of like what I'm getting like right now my eyes are watering so that it usually means it's a message but like what I'm getting is like this entity or this energy whatever this is it jumps from tree to tree and it will hide and get closer and closer literally that's like I I even am like I can envision it are you hearing talking I think I heard that dog. The others scare me. Again? Again. Catherine, you have to let us know why they scare you. Maybe we can help. But you gotta tell us or else we won't know how to help you. You can trust us. Participate. Thank you for participating, yes. Something's telling me to get out of this tent. It's funny that you say that because something was just telling me to stay inside of this tent. Really? Yeah. Catherine, I think Catherine feels safer in here. Catherine. Like there. Catherine, it's nice hanging out with you. Is that walking? Hello? Who is that? Tell us your name. Incident. Tell us your name. Oh. Who the f is out there? We I have a camera rolling out there. We literally have no way of seeing out there right now. I have a camera out there. No, I know, but like. From in here, we have no way of seeing what's going on out there right now. Like when we open that tent door, we don't know what's out there. Do 
hear that? I swear to God, that's footsteps. It's like a step at a time, or two steps. What's your name? Tell us right now what's your name. I won't tell you. We're gonna come out there. This is crazy. This is like, whenever you bring a tent somewhere, it's Demon. like, no way. And it's, no way it's right now. It's ironic that it said that, yeah. Guys. That's why it won't tell you its name. Guys, look at that right there. Just said it was a demon. It Catherine, answered our question. Is that why you're scared? It won't tell us its name if it is a demon. Because then it weakens its power. And we can use it against them. Can you touch the tent? Put your hand where the Mars hand is. Touch his hand. That better be rain, right? <laughs> yeah, that one's rain, I think. God, this is like really freaking active right now. I can see your hand shaking. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm scared. Excuse my language. Touch his hand. Slop it. Please. Tickle it. Benedict. Benedict? Benedict. Benedict, is that your name? Give us a sign if it is. Do you feel anything off your hand? And I don't know if Catherine is trapped by someone. It really freaking feels like it. That's what we picked up last time we were here too. I like I very specifically remember saying that something is holding her back. Year. Year. It's 2023. What year do you think it is? Do you hear that? Like moaning? Sounds like someone's like, like moaning in pain. I'm hearing all sorts of things right now. We're gonna come out now. And when we come out, you better be standing there, please. I'm not talking about you, Catherine. I'm talking about the entity that is here and that I've seen in the past. I want you to show yourself to us. All of a sudden just got like really quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah, the tent just kind of moved right behind you. Did it? Yeah. It's like it's saying you're wrong. Somebody moved outside the tent. They're close to us? Holy f what the f was that? What the f was that? What Abandoned. The f what the f what the I don't like this at all. We're gonna be spending the entire freaking night here. And we're experiencing this already. That was a freaking laugh. Do you hear that about 100 meters away? Not even. <sighs> Holy f. I 
don't even want to go out near that door right now. What did it say? Abandoned. Like it wants us to abandon tonight? Let people know. Let people know your story? What do you want us to let people know? Something feels really off. Like really off. Be careful. Who the hell's out here? That camera's still recording. That camera would have had to have caught whatever was out here. Who the hell's out here? Let's step out here. Okay. You know what you should do? What? Leave them, get the music app on and leave it in the tent. We'll hear it if it goes off if someone comes in the tent. Everything's gonna be on. Okay. Um, still saying there's movement. Okay. Okay, so it's in there. Oh my god! Who's in the tent? Oh my... Stop. But I couldn't see what... It's moving. Look. The movement thing was going on. Wait, take a step. See if it was you. Nope. No. EMF movement. Would that, that wouldn't pick us up from out here, would it? Move back, move back. No, it's still going off. Someone's in our tent. Catherine, if that's you, can you make it go off? Catherine? It's Catherine. Are you, do you feel safe in there, Catherine? If the answer is yes, make it go off. Yeah, it's on demand. She must like the music. She likes the Godfather. Wow. Catherine. God, right when I said her name, it stopped. She's listening. Catherine. Thank you. Use yes or no questions. I'm gonna ask you a question. And you're gonna turn that device on, go near it, touch it, move. If it's a yes, do you understand? Yeah. She's smart. Are you lonely here? I'm sorry, sweetie. Do you like when people pay you a visit? Yeah. The amount of toys she gets? Yeah. Do you think this is a toy? No. She's still here. Okay, so she knows it's not a toy. Can I give her a second? Sweetie, can you make it stop? Thank you. Is there someone else who stays here with you that you don't particularly like?
Do you feel safe around them? Wait. It's not going off. Oh. That one was weird though. It's like it stopped, but then went on. Catherine, can you stop that device for a second, please? Thank you. Are you trapped here by something? That was a better way to word it. And it went off. I'm gonna give you another chance. Touch the device if you are trapped here by something. She is. Catherine, is there a way we can help you move on? I'm gonna ask that again. Catherine, make it stop, please. Is there a way that we can help you move on? I don't, I don't know how to help people move on though. Other than just telling them to go towards the light, but if something's trapping her here. Did you hear that? What did you hear? I heard a woman's voice in the distance. I just confirmed it. Way down there. Catherine. Catherine. Oh, go ahead. Is that your mom? Bringing up her mom did something. I know, it made her stop. Go ahead and ask the question you were gonna ask. Cap, please make that stop. Can you leave it off for a second? Make sure it's still Catherine. Catherine, is that you? What the f is in our tent right now? What I don't know, but tent? I just had the feeling that it was no longer her. She's gone. My That's, eyes are watering so she, bad. She's gone. I just, oh my god, my head is shivering right now. Get out of our tent. That is our safe zone. It's protected by a white light. Get out of our tent. You're not welcome there. Unless you're Catherine. That was Catherine, and then... She went somewhere. Holy there's something in our tent. Do you feel that energy? Yes, I do. I do. Let's try to see what is lighting off on that right now. Who is in here right now? Proximity and movement. Now it's not going off. Movement. We're not moving. EMF. So you got EMF, movement, and proximity going off. Hey, okay, something's telling me to get back in the tent. Movement. Something's something's in our tent right now. Catherine. Please touch the device if you're back in here. Catherine? Go back, go back. I, I do not feel. Do you feel that aura around the tent right now? There's a weird ass aura. There's a weird ass aura around the tent right now. I also have this like, like I'm very anxious having my back just towards the open, like very anxious. But I, I don't, I don't know who's in the tent. You're not getting any messages or anything? It's like, it's like it just shut off. Like a wall just got put up. Catherine, if that's you, can you make it go off for three seconds? Ready? Make it go off. It 
Is there something else in the tent? That just went off. Are you good? Are you bad? You gotta be kidding me right now. You must leave our tent. Oh my god, this energy is coming like... The energy from our tent right now is really negative. Yeah. What did you do with Catherine? Let Catherine communicate with people. You know what? I just came to a conclusion. What? The, the gray being that I saw in the past is the one tormenting people right now. Hands down. We just had a full conversation with Catherine. Mm -hmm. She seems like a very nice girl answering her questions. She had a really good positive vibe. She did. And really did. all of a sudden, as soon as this thing enters our tent, it just gets dark. And what did we feel the last time I saw that gray being? Mm -hmm. Darkness. You're right. So what the f is in our tent right now? I'm literally checking out. Is this happening? it? That camera's still rolling. <laughs> Oh my god! What the f was that? What? What did you just see, babe? Oh. Shine your light, please. Please. The darkness just formed a figure. In our tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What like, what did it look like? Try to oh explain my. it to me. Please try to explain it. So when you're pointing the light at me, it blacked out the inside of the tent, okay? But it formed a figure of a body. Like sit. Sitting in the tent? What was it Kneeling, doing? Kneeling, like it was like, like on its, I didn't know, like it was on its knees almost. I only saw the upper half and the shoulders and the head. But I swear to God, babe, I swear to- no, I believe you, baby, I believe you. Because the light darkened the tent while it was on me. But it formed the upper half of a body. But if I were to review that, Nothing would be on the camera. That's the weird part. Well, it might have picked it up. We don't know. That was the weirdest thing. That almost just like sent me into shock. Like legitimately. We need you to leave the tent. I'm not asking, I'm telling. You need to leave the tent. I think it's out. I don't know what to do. I honestly, I, I really don't know what to do. The like tent I right now is completely dark. I can't see a damn thing in there right now. Like something's telling me to just go in and like take back our space. But I also just don't know what, what the heck we're dealing with. What is in the tent right now? But I'm, not, I'm not even playing what I'm saying this right now. That image is going to be in my head until the day I freaking die right now. I was literally looking into what I thought was a moving figure. Like whenever the tent gets darkened out while you're shining the light at me, I swear there's something in there that I am seeing and this camera right now is not picking it up. Oh my god, I was just looking like eye to eye to something. I really hope that was just my eyes playing tricks on me, man. I, I really don't know what to do. Like, I'm, I'm generally really confused. We're talking to like a random ass spirit right now. You're not getting messages. I don't know what the hell's going on. Like I'm not even picking up Catherine anymore. No, it's she's not like Catherine. it's like what what I can kind of the only thing that I'm getting 
is that there's a wall and Catherine's behind the wall. And that's why I can't get anything. She's stuck behind the wall. Yeah, it's like almost like someone's keeping her back. It's like a barrier. But I also like I want my space back. Like this is literally supposed to be our safe zone tonight. And it's the movement's going off. It's straight up the movement. I say we just claim it. Maybe we you better can... get the hell out of the tent, or I'm gonna put something on you. Maybe we can like do an EVP and see if. But like, I, it's I... gone. Oh. Straight up movement, hun. I want my tent back. Kind of feel like okay, ready? One, two, three. That was such a weird ass moment. I'm gonna leave that camera out there until it dies so we can get an extra POV. Oh. I just, I need a minute. That was, that's honestly such a weird experience. That was, I... Like, we had a conversation with Catherine, and then we had a conversation with, like, who knows what. But the thing was, we weren't moving. No, we weren't. Like, we would have been able to tell if our movement was triggering that, but we were all the way over there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this is something, something is with us right now. And we use this app and device at the courthouse and like it was very accurate and like we tried to debunk it before and everything you know yeah we were far away and that was on a flat platform too yeah okay all right you want to play that game huh let's just see who the hell we're talking to now our uh, this battery is about to die that battery's about to die? Yeah. Yeah, it's flashing red. We only have 21 minutes left on this. I'm not gonna lie, hon. It's very not fun to be out there. I think we should just set up an overnight camp. We are watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted to hear before saying we're going to bed. I love that for us. Catherine, you're allowed to watch us. That's about it. So I got a recorder, got a camera rolling out there, decided we'll go lights out for a bit. I think we should try an EVP session. We'll just stay quiet. I'm gonna put it down and we'll kind of stay quiet a bit. I swear I got her talking over there. Yeah, Did you hear that? I heard that too. Like just like a girl or something. Yeah. I, you know. I know. Yeah. What do we got here? Wait. What? I couldn't hear it from over here. What the f What did it say? Listen to this. Here, wait. Listen to this. It says out. It literally oh. says out. Oh my god. I heard that. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do we do? 
You heard that clear as day, right? I heard that right? clear as freaking day. There's like a second thing too, eh? Is there? So, it sounded like there was something else after the out. Play it again. I don't know how to work that thing. There. I'm gonna have to review that. So we're gonna have to review that tomorrow because I can't really hear it, but I think I hear another gas. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be completely real. This is probably filmed a lot different than our normal investigations, but I'm gonna tell you guys, it's very hard to film in the snow and the rain. Um, so I think at this point, we'll set up an overnight cam and just hit the hay. Yeah, I'm, I'm so down for that. Like it's actually getting pretty late right now and- It's cold. Just so we're not trekking through the forest and the snow, I just feel like we'll grab our cam, set up a camera in here, um, and then just see what we get at this point. We've already got like so much. Yeah. We got something in here, We've got an EVP. Claps. Clap. It's crazy. Like, I don't even want to go out there right now. Just grab the camera quick and come right back in. I just had a weird nightmare. What happened? What happened? You feel electricity? Was mm. that? You feel electricity? Mm-mm. What was your dream? Something was holding me still. Something was literally paralyzing me. I couldn't move. Seriously? Yeah. That is the last dream I wanted to have tonight. Oh. Just cut the curtain and try to go back to bed, baby. Oh my god. It's holding me down and laughing. Laughing? 
Yeah, my dream. Oh, I feel like I can't breathe. You okay? I think so, but that was fucking creepy. Oh my god. Oh my god, good morning. Hello, hello. Well, not really morning. Today, we kind of left early in the morning, but we did last the whole entire night. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, um, we did feel like we uncovered something mm -hmm. and really talked to Catherine. Now, this is kind of the farthest it's been when we've investigated Catherine's grave. What were your thoughts on that whole night it was like a lot like it was really cool to be able to communicate with Catherine but it was so heavy at the same time with that other spirit or entity or whatever it was yeah but it was it was really cool to catch all that evidence but it also really sucked having to sleep in that weather not gonna lie I feel like since last night my whole face has felt like super dry mm -hmm. i don't know what it was but upon going to that site all of a sudden my eyes started tearing i got red in the face and my eyes like right now are still kind of red and i don't know what it was but the entity that i feel that i saw last time was really trying to play a toll on us yeah definitely um i did feel weird too and we did find a really weird evp yes i'm really excited to go home and like fully review that and see. yeah right now the weather is coming down just spent the day picking up some stuff we're going to be bringing back to our condo so that's why our whole entire car is a mess right now um so excuse us i feel like we just made it out if we were to stay any longer it would be well, when we were packing up the tent, like, it was soaking wet. Yeah. The tent was wet, our sleeping bags were wet, just everything was wet. Yeah. It was a pretty snowy morning and a wet morning, I'll tell you that. I think on the vlog channel, I'm going to be going through that EVP. So if you guys do want to listen to that EVP a little bit better, you might have heard it, you know, well enough last night. But, I don't know, I just... I find it really weird. Something was in that tent with us. Definitely. And it wanted to do something. If you guys do want to go and see some more camping trips and adventures on this channel, we will do more. Um, this is kind of the start of our camping stuff for the year. It's just getting better now. I know the weather is contradicting that statement, but it is going to be spring real soon. And weather will be a lot nicer. So if you guys do want to see some more camping, you guys know what to do. And we'll definitely do that for you. So time to reboot yourself. Time to reboot. Alrighty. On to the next. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the love.